Here are 23 travel hacks for the airplane. My tips and tricks will help you when you are packing your carry-on suitcase. And some of these hacks are tricks that you can use on the actual airplane. We travel on the airplane a lot and I realized that a lot of things that are a way of life for me are really travel hacks that I wanted to share with you. They are solving a problem for me and I hope they will solve a problem for you. Now this is a carry-on suitcase. I just want to make that clear while we are getting started. These are both carry-ons. This is a carry-on suitcase. This is a carry-on travel bag. I do not carry a purse as my carry-on when I go on an airplane because it will inevitably fall off my shoulder. When you're going through an airport, you want your hand to be free. You're gonna have one hand on your phone or either carrying a cup of coffee in the airport, and so the other hand is gonna be rolling that roller bag behind you. Your suitcase is gonna be pulling behind you, so you only have one hand free, and it's gonna be on your phone or it's going to be carrying a cup of coffee or a baby. So take my advice and use a backpack and then pack a little crossbody bag for later when you get to your destination. And then you'll be hands-free if you use that backpack. What I do is I take my purse contents and I put them in separate little bags that are gonna go into my carry-on backpack. Like I have all these little bags that I take inside my backpack and they each carry different things. Like I would pull out your visa card, your ID, your insurance card, and some cash, those are all going to go in a little bitty wallet part, not the huge wallet from your actual purse. I'm going to put chapstick and a couple of lipsticks that I might use on vacation in a little bag, and those are going to take up less space in your carry-on backpack. I do take a crossbody bag to pull out once I've gone through security or when I get to my final destination. I put this little thin crossbody in my backpack carry-on and then when I get to my final destination I can slip my little bags in there or just my cards and my very much essentials that have to go with me when I'm out and about in a foreign country or on my vacation. Another travel hack that I love and I just found out a couple of years ago after like 10 years of travel is to pack your liquids horizontally in your TSA approved liquids bag. You can actually fit more in if you lay them horizontally. When you are packing your carry-on suitcase, I suggest rolling each piece of clothing or folding them and putting them in packing cubes. I reviewed both of those ways and now I can honestly say, I can't believe it, but now I prefer folding my clothes and putting them in cubes rather than just rolling. Another hack is for when you are watching the entertainment system on the airplane. It is going to drain your battery most likely, even if you have this cell phone on airplane mode. So I suggest having a power bank, and this is one my husband got me. It is Slim Line. There are several that you can choose from. We have used this pink one that I'll list below also, but this is all you need, and it gives your phone a full charge. So when your battery is getting really low on the airplane, you'll use your charging cord. That you plug it into the end of this power bank and it will give you a full charge. Then when you get to your hotel room, you need to charge this or the night before your flight, you need to charge this. So you stick this in the end of it and then the little cord that it comes with is going to go in here and you'll plug that into the wall. And I just plug this in all night so that it gets, I don't know how long it takes to charge this power bank all the way. So I just let it charge all night in my hotel room or in my house before I leave for my vacation. If you did forget to bring a charging cord for your phone, you can use the little USB of your little wire and stick it in the side of your TV and then hook that up to your phone to charge it I, or you can just bring a power bank <laughs> and this is just easier for me to remember. Another travel hack for the airplane is how to watch something on your phone without having to hold it the whole time. You want to prop it up on something. Um, I did have a pop socket which works great. They're about $10 on Amazon but now I use this to go walking with so I need something to prop it up with. You can unfold the airline magazine and then lean it against the spine of the magazine and that helps but for me it works best when I have a rubbery type case this is a little thin this one that I have now you can also use they have all kinds of gadgets out there but you can also use something like this and it holds your phone up for you I love this and it's easy it doesn't get tangled up in your backpack 
You can also prop your phone up on a very cheap pair of sunglasses sitting upside down on the tray table. They do not work on the Ray-Ban sunglasses for some reason, but they work on really cheap sunglasses, which that's another travel hack is to bring the cheapest um, sunglasses from the Dollar Tree. They sell sunglasses of all modern looks for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So take those on vacation. I've seen some people putting their phone in a Ziploc baggie and then poking a hole through that baggie and clipping it onto the little tray table clip. But I don't like that because I feel like it's going to be blurry if the bag is not completely tight around the opening of my cell phone. So I just use the little prop up hand things. I like to take headphones because you never know if you're going to have an online entertainment system and I use a gift with purchase bag that I had that keeps my headphones flat, they don't tangle, but for those of you who don't have a bag you want to use, you can also just wound up your headphones like this and use a bulldog clip to just hold them like that and that would keep them a little bit contained in your backpack or you can just use a little bag. My husband uses a huge bulldog magnet clip to hold the curtains together. That is my next travel hack. You know that little space in the hotel curtains where it wakes you up at like 5 a.m. because you're in the hotel room that's facing the sun? Just clip it together using a bulldog clip wherever you want to get one from and it will help close all those curtains together to block out the light when you're trying to sleep late on your vacation. On the fifth day, the last day, because you can't sleep late until like your fifth day of vacation. <laughs> if you're like me and take old deodorant sticks to your vacation spot, and they start breaking off because you're at the very bottom of the barrel, just put those pieces on a folded up piece of Kleenex and then just wipe them under your armpit for part of the deodorant. Stick around to the end to the number one so brilliant travel hack that I just heard of. Especially if you're going to a remote location, I suggest for this travel hack of using Google Maps offline. And what you're gonna do is you're going to type in the address in Google Maps while you are connected to an internet or wireless connection. And there are directions online on how to do that. And then you just pull it up when you're at your remote location and it pulls it up for you. You don't have to be connected to uh, whatever it is you can connect to to use Google Maps in a remote location. Another travel hack, especially if you're going to another country, is to get cash from ATMs throughout the country, not the currency exchange little kiosk in airports. There's a much higher rate of exchange in the airport. When you do get cash from the ATM, store them in different locales. One of the smartest travel hacks I know is to take a picture of the inside of your passport and your driver's license and your insurance cards and put those in email. Email them to someone who might know you from over in the States. And then if you are in trouble with the law, like the good old boys, never meaning no harm if you are in trouble with the law or if you need it you've lost your passport you can always get a hold of it electronically by signing into your email i also recommend taking an empty water bottle it can be small or the taller version because airports now have the water fountains that you can actually stick a bottle underneath another travel hack is to store your necklaces in a straw and that is way too high maintenance for me so i recommend using like a gallon baggie and then roll it up very tightly and then secure it with like ponytail holders or you can use this thing that i have i found it and the reason i like it is because these necklaces do not move the space for you to put your necklace into is very narrow and i can also store my earrings in there and i roll it up and these things right here are super 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 tight so the the necklaces don't get tangled like look you cannot hear the necklaces moving around and getting tangled up these little doohickeys would be great for earrings for holding earrings i just found these this past week the reason i like these is because they're one-handed use it just makes them a little fancier anyway they have plenty of room for you to store little earrings or the larger earrings and they are secure this is a great travel hack for two different kinds of liquids that I can recommend. Vaseline, because for if you have rash, a rash between your legs from walking on the beach with a wet swimsuit, you can store them in these little bitty discs that actually 
have a ton of room in them. I have one for cleanser, and the reason I suggest using cleanser is because my bottle of cleanser is huge, and you only need a little dab, like a pea-sized dab of cleanser each day, and you just put it in there, and uh, the cleanser is thick. I cannot recommend moisturizer because my moisturizer leaked only one time out of all the times I've stored my moisturizer in those little discs, but the moisturizer was too runny, and um, cleanser and Vaseline, those are thick products that will not leak ever and I've probably taken them on six airplane trips. Another travel hack is to wear your heaviest shoes on board the airplane not storing them in your suitcase that way you have more room in your suitcase. One of my subscribers gave me this great travel hack and this is to wear two pairs of socks through security. You wear both socks going through security, take off your shoes and then right before you put your shoes back on, take off that outer second pair of sock, second sock, and trash it. A smart way to save your socks. Another travel hack is to pick the busiest time of day to travel, and that's late morning or in the afternoon, and then volunteer as soon as you get to the airport to get bumped if it's too packed or if it's an oversold flight. Another travel hack is to put your leg through the strap of your purse and then keep that purse in between your two feet while you're at a sidewalk cafe eating in another country especially. I will link below an article by USA Today about how to avoid getting pickpocketed in Barcelona, which one of my friends that happened to. We also check TripAdvisor for things to do and places to eat in every single city where we are. We want, like to eat where the locals eat. But another travel hack is to check Pinterest. And you can just type in there things to do or places to eat in that city. Great idea that I didn't even think of. Now the number one travel hack that I think is brilliant is using water-soluble paper. You lay it out on a table and you brush shampoo or liquid soap on one side with a paintbrush and then you flip it over and paint and paint the soap on the other side of the paper and then hang it up to dry and then you cut it into these little tiny rectangle pieces and then store them in like a little container like this and then when you get to your final destination and you didn't get to bring your liquid bottle of soap, you can pull out one of those and it will activate with water, wash your hands, get soap all in it. I think that is brilliant. And then the paper either dissolves or you can just trash it when you're done with it. But those little bitty rectangles, I think that's so smart. Let me know if you have a travel hack for your airline of choice down below. Leave me a comment, introduce yourself, and while you're down there, click on the bell beside subscribe so that you'll be notified for my next video. Thank you for popping over and happy, safe, on-time travels.